What's up, DNA gang? Y'all know the name. How y'all doing today? today? Man, today we got If Adults Were Honest on Career Day. To be real with you, never remember Career Day. Never remember right. anybody's parents coming and talking to us at all. I, pr I feel like my dad came to one if we did have one, but I really don't remember. I don't remember none of that shit. And if I go talk, I, I hate my motherfucking job. <laughs> Kids, go to school. <laughs> Figure out what you're going to do early because um, this jumping around ain't it. Right. Going to where whoever pays the highest ain't it because you always got to deal with a ding a -ling. <laughs> Right. If you ready. <laughs> Y'all ready? I'm ready. Cue the intro. Yeah. Yeah. Let me draw the boat. Bitch, you know I wrecked the shit. All right. Get it by the boat. Watch a nigga make it flip. I'm just one night the bitch. All right, before we get into this, hit that subscribe button. And that notification bell so you don't miss another video. Let's get right into it. What exactly made you choose to work in fast food? Are you serious? Like, this was my dream job. Like, ever since I was little, I wanted to work at McDonald's. No. Flip well, no. Some people, Some people do want to be chefs. And if the highest level you can get to is the McDonald's start. grill. Because I used to, I had a friend. He worked at Sonic, bro. He used to be like, hey, twin, I be whipping that shit up in the kitchen, bro. I be making me all types of food that's back my, there. That's how my brother used to be when he worked at uh, Whataburger. See, I'm like, some people do want to do that shit, so. And, and he actually does want to be a chef. Right. Because you well, see I how he be whipping it. Right. Exactly. Now, nah, her brother can cook, though. Have you heard of Wine McDonald's? How much more fun is that? I'm going to say, this is by far the best job I've ever had. And now, that kids, look, this is my official spatula. I'm the one in the back that makes your burgers. So you ask me why I chose your job. <laughs> really? This job chose. Me. Okay. I'm afraid for this. I'm right. For this. Okay. If you want to live a fulfilled life of feeding people and eating world hunger, you come work with us. God damn it, I didn't choose it. I had no choice. Right. Rin was due. And they're the only people that called back. That was it. <laughs> but when you get older, you have this thing called bills. And right. People don't care about how much money you got. They just want data. Right. Want to tell you, don't you believe these goddamn teachers for one second. I went to school, I graduated, I got a diploma, and I still couldn't find no damn job. So right. Right. I had bills due. And guess who's hiring? McDonald's. The rent is due tomorrow. Because my security job, a lady that had a fucking bachelor's degree came and worked there, bro. Right. For fucking eight fucking fifty an hour, bro. And see, I don't have no degree. I, I have my high school diploma. But at the end of the day, I was working over people <clears throat> that had degrees. That's what I'm fucking saying, bro. Maybe it's not the fucking education. Maybe it's just the person. Right. And that's who you ever thought about that? Um, God damn it, I ain't got it. So I'm gonna say it again. I didn't choose this damn job. I was forced to take it. For no reason. So everybody can't, can't be spongy, Bob. Give me a damn chance. It's a lot of squidwards. Oh, you make a lot of money. Right. Are you rich? That's a good question, kid. I actually am rich. I'm in the NFL and I play for the Charlotte Hornets. Yeah, we're the best team in the world. Right. Ten billion dollars last year. Yeah, I, 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 I bought everything. I got a boat. I got a house. I got fifty dogs for no damn reason. I got right. Tires, right. I got five Teslas. I Some people just love animals. Truck. I got a Lambo. I That's got unnecessary, though. I got fifty bathrooms. Exactly. And I'm the only one that lives in the house. I'm that rich. Am I rich? Hell no. I'm right. broke. My first contract was for ten million dollars. I spent it all because I have no oh, financial literacy. Right. I'll be wondering, like, man, Ooh. let a motherfucker just give me a million dollars, bro. <coughs> Excuse me. I promise <laughs> you, I would not waste that money, bro. Right. I now. promise you. I got right. Bills to pay because I broke my back. I got 15 concussions. My eyes don't look straight. You see my eyes? Oh. Bro. <laughs> right. Be getting was... fucked up and I had not one dollar left. Damn. That's why they kicked in that new shit, like, to. They, at pretty much athletes got 401ks now. Hey, good. As you should. Pretty much now. No, no, no. I know the basketball league got it. As they, you oh, should. Right. So am I rich? No. Why y'all think I'm here now on the football field? Because they pay me to come here. Because I'm that broke. Right. So, mm. as a soldier, what does your typical work day look like? Oh, man, that is a great question. I got a lot of friends that did this just to say, man, I just need to go to college, bro. Right. I didn't, I didn't want to go there. I mean, I hated my time there. I, it's not like that for everybody. Right. But I told, I'm like, bro, whatever you got to do, but then this motherfucker, these motherfuckers is coming back working jobs that we could have did out, out of high school. Remember, when my cousin came back, that's what that's what she was asking me for. She was asking me for a job. Like, that shit crazy. Then why you waste your time doing that shit? 
She and needs to go to school. It's, it's, it's paid for. Some people can't pay for it. But you ain't even using it. I get to save people, or I get to stay in shape, or when I get to travel for free, we get to go on missions. We get to. So you see how hard she can be going for just to go. I get to go. Man, her aunt got like 20 degrees. You can look at me. And don't use none of it. She like the flex that she just got all these degrees. Be like that, I guess. Damn. Right. See, but that's... So y'all play Call of Duty? No. No. That's only, that's, that's probably only like that if you get deployed, though. Like, when you working in, like, the office and shit like that, you really don't see that. And I know that from talking to people that have actually done it. You think you can handle this? Can you hold a gun to a man's face? Can you hold a dude and look at him in the face? Can you do it? Can you, boy? Can't be soft. Can't be soft. You can't be nervous on my team. You can do that? Come on. Right. Every day is worth it. It takes guts to do this. You right. You can't be no sissy. No one wants to sign up. Mm. You know what? I'm, I'm cool off of that. Can you give me some advice? Of course, kid. The I appreciate the ones that did. Stay in school. All of you have to stay Man, you got to go to school for like 80 years to be a doctor. <laughs> I ain't like the first 12. Who you telling? Shit, I only lasted one year after the first 12. Right. When I had the option, I was like, okay, I'm cool. I'm, I'm cool. cool after this. <laughs> I'm, I'm good. good. It is worth it. All I do is save lives. Because without us, you would die. And my last advice I can give you kids is to eat your vegetables and always eat your fruits. That's how you stay. I mean, shit, we would die with or without y'all. So right. You want to be a doctor? I mean, I appreciate y'all, though. I've been but... in school for 25 years. My hair is falling off. You see this? This is a way. Y'all don't know my hair, though. You said I want to be a young doctor. Get all the fine little nurses. Man, I am 58. That shit made me happy. <laughs> right. It be like <laughs> Bro, I had a fucking nurse first day on the job. This motherfucker trying to find my vein. This nigga didn't poke me like six times, bro. And didn't tell me it was his first day until the other motherfucker walked by and said, Oh yeah, this is first day they had by to, himself. They apologized to him and they was like, I'm so sorry, this is actually his first day. I'm sorry, what? Get off of me. <laughs> Get the fuck away Get from off me. of me. I want to go home. They're paying me well. So that's the only reason I'm a doctor still. I keep getting sued because I can't save nobody lives. Do y'all understand? From I'm suspicious. I'm going to go to school to be a doctor. My tuition is $15 million. Is that what I pay that off? No. You want that you never pay that off. I didn't think so. I'm, I'm well, not paying that. The hardest part about being a police officer. Well, you know, the hardest part to me is that um, I can't say everybody. I mean, I would like to help everybody, but I just can't. Sometimes I'm late. I mean, sometimes I need days off. You know, I be tired. But if you <laughs> sleep, you're sleepy as fuck. I save everybody. Because that's just the kind of person I am. I want everybody to live and be happy. Like, oh. The whole thing is, I don't like to arrest people. I believe that everybody deserves a second chance. Just because you rob a bank don't mean you got to go to jail. You made a mistake. So I guess if I had to choose your man, I would say, I can't save everybody. But what if they take my money, money, though? I feel like, I feel like bank robbery should not damn near equal or get more time than killing somebody. Right. AKA manslaughter. It's fucking money and it's insured. Right. You Why are you it. giving this man you 50, get it back. 50 years but you but somebody hurt somebody you get it all oh, you got five years. Like fuck all that. That's I always felt like that, that was stupid. That doesn't make sense to me. I always felt like that was stupid. <laughs> Anyway, I'm in a meeting right now. Little boy, you ain't know the hardest part is I don't get no damn respect until I start busting heads around here. Oh, y'all, right. Everybody talking about F12, F the pig. God damn it. I'm trying to save your life. You know what right. the hardest part of my job is? The hardest part of my job is not beating people inside their head when you damn bitch. When they do something stupid. That's why I'm losing my elbow for a broken tail. Like, they start shooting my ass. Wait, what? You know what? Y'all got this. I don't want this job no more. Y'all don't want me no damn respect. And he's saying, you see what? Y'all want me no damn respect. So if you want to know what we're doing right now, what would you be doing instead? 
That's a good question. Well, if I wasn't in prison, you know, I'd probably be a police officer. Get those criminals off the streets. You know, I always wanted to do that, but I went in the wrong direction. And I grew up saying, I want to be a police officer, but I made the wrong choices. That's so now I'm a criminal. Do. Let y'all know not to make the wrong choices, all right? To do the ask the question over here, just know to do the right choices, all right? I wanted so to be a police officer, be scared that straight. ain't happen. Right. Look at police officer every day, be a nice officer. You at least got to have one of them off ones to make people like, I don't want to do that. Right. That's like showing your kid a crackhead. I don't want to do that. Some people be like, ooh, that look fun. No. <laughs> I don't want to do that. I'm not, I'm not one of them people. Right. I don't want to do that. Maybe you can be a police officer. Shoot, I'll be doing the same damn thing I did to get in prison. Mm -hmm. I would have been stealing and selling drugs on the street. I don't care if they call me. Once they, they let me out, I'm going to do like, that shit again. Like, right. I'll be like Tony Montana. You know who Tony Montana is? Say, we done. We're going to do this again. Yeah, he used to get all the money. All the girls. That was me. That was me till they called me. And 2151. I'm going to be rich when I get out. I'm going to be doing all the most illegal stuff and be a rich person years? on the street. 29. Okay. You got any more questions, kid? So, how did your school 20, like, what job you have now? He 20, said 2151. Uh, oh, no, never mind. Oh, yeah, shit, I heard that wrong. Like the, the, the quadratic formula to, 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 to calculate how to punch people in their face. Mm, See, the truth is, no. everything I learned in school helped me to oh, be a right no. man. I always wanted to try that shit, but I just like... Yeah. I never just got to it. Like I had, I had got so excited to to start doing the, the the training camp and all that shit, but I never got to it. I was, well, how old? I would think we was me and Trey was fourteen. I wish you would was, was fourteen. That been nice to see. Uh, in many ways, she was in my writing class. We had to like, you know, learn how to write I sentences. I didn't want to so do that shit. I, punch, I write sentences. Bam. You hear this a lot. Right. Everything like you learn in school is important. Just don't try not to get hit. <laughs> right. Oh, I read that he's about to go left. Bah. Bah. You see what I'm saying? Look at this. Listen to me. If you want to be a good boxer, you got to stay in school. Because school is uh -huh. going to teach you everything you need to know. And they're right behind And then, I ain't never used a goddamn thing I learned in school I am. I ain't used no goddamn quadratic. Addition, subtraction, division, multiplication. That's it. That's it. I mean, of course, reading. reading but you, you write. You don't sometimes. read. Every, you don't read every day. I mean, technically, if you drive because you gotta read signs, but you write. You write sometimes. But that ain't nothing over than the fifth grade reading level. Exactly. So, yeah. Right. Ain't like you out here writing essays to the president. Exactly. Like you ain't you ain't writing speeches to talking and to to talk in front of millions of people about the equilibrium or something like now there are <clears> some <throat> people that do it but it's very rare but but 95 percent of us don't need that shit right we right. don't well, no, I ain't use no smoke in the we're not I gonna lie to y'all i ain't never had to use it never will remember like i tell you how school prepared me school made me aggressive every time i get to them there walls i want to fight somebody so right I whoop ass professionally school that niggas angry matter of fact i got kicked out of school because that time i failed the test i pulled the teacher oh that's the f Bye. i mean <laughs> hey I almost got charges pressed on me because the teacher decided to grab my phone and I decided to grab his hand at the same time. And I and I tell you, his hand almost popped off that wrist, boy. Oh. I swear, don't I touch my shit, bro. Ain't nobody keep me up. Ooh, I swear every time I walk in school, I just wonder. Ooh, ooh, ooh. School made me aggressive. School made me angry. Matter of fact, I had a teacher tell me I wasn't going about nothing. Ain't that something? Ain't nobody just wasn't a teacher. It was... It was an older We're person that I knew. Oh, you know, I want, I want a job where I can have fun. Is your job fun? Is my job fun? <laughs> what do you think? Preacher, huh? pastor. I woke up this morning, huh? and God bless me, huh? to wake up. Huh? Why, well, Pastor, got to have a nice call. That's definitely a graduation <laughs> gown. Why God is good. All the gowns are the same gowns. You can do in this life. I'm here to tell you, you can get saved. Get the choir saved. Amen. Hey, Amen. And y'all know what? After life is over, we can go have some more fun in heaven. Okay. The devil tempts me every single day. You don't think I want some cheeks? I'm out here trying to look good for all y'all. She got a fat old boy. Oh, oh Lord. It was the devil fault. y'all pray. It was? Let's pray right now. Lord, I like Miss Johnson booty. Right. Miss Johnson got a big old booty. People come to me complaining about their problems and what they're dealing with. Do I love?
look like Jesus. I got my own fucking problems. Do you have any final words or thoughts? Everybody, I just want you to remember that school is important. You cannot be successful in life without a good education. So stay in school and get good grades. Everybody get out now. They a bunch of damn liars that you want to take it. Right, because I see a lot of successful people that don't have no more than either <laughs> middle school or high school diploma. Right. Because, so I didn't even know, some of, some of these rappers and shit and actors and actresses drop out of middle school. Like, what? Now, granted, we are not telling y'all to do that. that. No, we're not telling y'all to do it, but I'm like, but I always feel like at least graduate high school. At least. Because I, I will say what we do now, it we don't, we didn't need it. I'm not I got one more thought. Mitch Johnson, let me get that booty. Come here, Mitch Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> I told y'all I was a fat old ass. Y'all see that big old ass? But no, like real shit. Like we not finna sit here and lie to y'all. Like right. we, what we do, we we didn't need ours. And a lot of places, especially now, you don't need them. Right. So hey, y'all take it how you want to take it. We catch y'all next time. Peace out. We out. Out of boat, watch a nigga make it flip. I, make it flip. I ain't a little boat, but I just want night the bitch. One night,